Pisces, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. I am here to do the March mid-months. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Or if you have Pisces placements, this may resonate with you. But keep in mind, this is general. It will not resonate with every Pisces. Also, energy, time, and gender is fluid. So cross watches, you are welcome. If it does resonate with you, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, positive comments only, please. And we're going to get started. Also, if you'd like to donate to the channel or book a personal reading with me, that information will be in the description box, okay? So let's get started. Messages for my Pisces, March mid-months. What's going on for the Pisces gang, gang, gang? Messages for my Pisces. Pisces, we have broken. Okay, messages for my Pisces, please. Oof, divine masculine. Wow. <sighs> Alexa, play Brandy. Broken hearted right now. We have strength. Okay, messages for my Pisces, ride or die, carefree and seduction. Ride or die, carefree and seduction. Why I feel like overall energy here is anxiety. Wow. Why I feel like my Pisces is living their best life right now, being carefree. You could be flirting, going on dates, you know. And your masculine or your feminine, because, you know, the gender can be reversed. I feel like they're going through some type of heartache, some type of breakdown here. I'm hearing they need your strength. You are the backbone here is what I'm picking up. You were their backbone. You were their support system. You were their ride or die. This person is having uh, some sleepless nights here. This is giving me the nine of swords energy here with this anxiety. This person definitely stabbed you in the back. And it may have took you a while. It may have taken you using your strength to get over this situation here. But now you're living, you know, you're living carefree, carefree. you're hanging with friends. You're chilling. I feel like a lot of you all could be dating or just flirting. You know, lighthearted energy here. I don't see nothing serious. Meanwhile, your person over here is feeling broken, fragmented without you. They're having some sleepless nights, some anxiety. I feel like a lot of them uh, has realized, I just heard, never bite the hand and feed you. So this person definitely bit the hand and fed them. They definitely backstab you here. And when they betrayed you, they betrayed their selves. Wow. Let's see what's going on, Pisces. Let's see. Messages for my Pisces. What is broken? It's broken. We have, oh, the three of swords. It's in reverse. I feel like this is you, Pisces. You could have been dealing with a air sign, but I feel like you have overcame that. Um, yes, yeah, something has been reversed here. You was once in this three of swords energy where you were heartbroken, disappointed. You felt betrayed. You may have been in this energy where you was feeling broken or having heavy anxiety, but I feel like the roles have reversed here. This person is feeling the heartbreak. They're feeling the absence here. They're feeling the disappointment. This person is also regretting putting you in a third party situation. Yep. Judgment. Scorpio energy here. Someone wants a second chance here. Also, I feel like this person is receiving some type of karma as well. What's the divine masculine?
Seven of Pentacles, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person realized they made the wrong investment. <clears throat> Excuse me. They invested in the wrong person here. This person could be seeing that their harvest is not coming in. I'm also hearing you reap what you sow. So they definitely reaping a bad investment here is what I'm getting. Could have been dealing with an earth sign here or they could have earth in their chart. What is the strength card? What is the strength card here? Oof. Death. Some of you all was definitely dealing with a Scorpio here. If you wasn't, you was dealing with uh, someone that has Scorpio in their birth chart here. But this is like the ending. This could also be like a rebirth here. Some of you all have went through a major transformation here. And it took a lot of discipline and strength and courage and bravery to really overcome this situation. Also, too, I feel like this person want to resurrect a, a connection between you and them is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, they made the wrong investment here. What is this ride or die? So you was definitely a ride or die for this person. I feel like you held this person down. You, Like I said, you could have been their backbone, their support system, like you were their rock here. What's the ride or die? What's the ride or die? The roles has definitely been reversed here. Ace of Pentacles. A lot of you all are receiving blessings behind this. Even though this broke your heart, even though you uh, this person put you in a third party, I feel like this is this Ace of Pentacles is you. You're stepping into new beginnings here. Some of you all could have could have gotten new jobs, um, new home, new cars. It's something here that you were gifted with. I feel like the universe is gifting you with a new beginning here, a more stable beginning, especially with when it's dealing with your finances here. Some of you all could just be living it up, enjoying the fruits of your labor here with this carefree card. So you definitely have gotten over the hurt. Okay, so what is uh, carefree? What is carefree? Ooh, the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of earth energy here. You can have earth energy in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone that wants to come towards you with an offer a stable and more reliable offer, but they hesitant. They're very hesitant. And I feel like this is this person hesitating to come towards you. It's because they know that they broke your heart. They know that they disappointed you. They are well aware that you know about this disappointment. You may have uh, caught this person with the third party. So it's like they're very hesitant. Also too, it could be like um, slow, on their finances here. Like they could have like some hesitancy when it comes to their financial flow. Yep, seven of cups. They also feel like you weigh your options and I feel like you are as well. But also you taking your time with your options. You're just having fun. I feel like a lot of my Pisces, some of you all have gotten into relationships and then you have some that's just dating, you know, flirting, you know, weighing their options. Now the shoe is on the other foot here. Now you're trying to see what's the better option for you. What will work for you? You definitely got some suitors here that want to seduce you, Pisces. <laughs> like you definitely have someone that is eyeing you. Um, I said I just heard something about your eyes here. And this person knows this. Didn't I tell you the nine of swords energy was coming out? I felt that. This person knows that other people, that you have other options, that other people is um. Uh, really directing your your in your attention away from them is what i'm picking up here this person could be dreaming of you being with someone else maybe they're dreaming of you kissing someone else in bed with someone else they're over they're having some overthinking here i feel like they're having some sleepless nights also too i'm looking at this person over her head i feel like this person when they sleep your face like pops up in their dreams and it kind of shaking them a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. You could have been dealing with someone that have the initial C, M, is what I'm getting here as well. Give me one more on this seduction. They definitely not sleeping. I'm also hearing guilty conscience as well. So this person definitely feels guilty of how they treated you. The Queen of Wands. Fireside Energy, Leo Sag, Aries. Yes, you're looking good, feeling good. Some of you all got a dog as a pet. 
you and your dog be chilling. Why well, I feel like you treat your dog like your child. So you probably buy your dog clothes and you go and get their hair trimmed and their nails trimmed. Like your dog is getting the A1 treatment here. You may have an animal. <laughs> but a lot of you all are just being more assertive. You're more confident now. You know your worth. You know your value. Uh, and that's make you more uh, attractive, you know. It's what I'm getting up. You understanding your worth now. A lot of you all could be business owners because the Queen of Swords, I mean the Queen of Wands, I'm thinking of the Queen of Swords here. You could have that energy. You could be carrying that energy as well as far as being more logical and making head over heart decisions. But the Queen of Wands is all about being assertive here and understanding your worth, raising your confidence, raising your self-esteem at this time. So what is the anxiety card? What's the anxiety? That gave me the Nine of Swords card. So this person is definitely going through some type of remorse energy. They're definitely feeling guilty. The hangman, they know you have released them. This person was frivolous with you, is what I'm picking up. Like, they was too carefree with you. They didn't handle you correctly, is what I'm picking up with the hangman. So you had to release them. Like, you had to sacrifice them. It was either them or your heart. And they had already broken your heart. It was like you was just forced to release them. Although you didn't want to, I feel like you were forced to. And now this person is feeling it. They're feeling it with anxiety. I'm also getting depression here. Yep. Didn't I tell you? It's something going on with their finances here as well. So they could be going through some type of sadness or depression here. High level of anxiety. Being left out in the cold. But I feel like this person is getting what they gave you. Yep. Meanwhile, you in this energy. I told you, a lot of you all are being very single, focusing on your finances, on your coins right now, being very independent, self-sufficient, just relying on yourself. You looking good. You feeling good. And I feel like the more love you put into yourself, the better options that's coming towards you. Hmm. Okay. All right. Pisces, I like this, this spread here. Okay. Let's get some messages, please, for my Pisces. Messages for my Pisces, please. All right, give me two cards for my Pisces, please. Suffering, past, lack. This person is suffering deeply without you, period. Rebirth. Then I say some of you all could be going through a rebirth. It could be this winter, or I feel like you went through it this this current winter that just that's just passed here. But I feel like you went through some type of transformation here. Meanwhile, your person is suffering right now. I feel like they could be going without some things here, especially financial wise with this lack card. So they could be. Um, running on hard times at this time. They could be suffering some hard times as far as financial stability. Yeah, and they have to see you be more self-sufficient here in your bag, being consistent, you know what I'm saying, with your money. I feel like they see this. Even though the page of swords didn't come out, they see you. Are they hearing about it is what I'm picking up. Mm. Well, well. Let's get some messages here. Give me a card for my Pisces, please. Give me a message for my Pisces, please. Get a message for my Pisces. Give me a message for my Pisces, please. Oh, it says start a new hobby. If there's something that you enjoy doing, do it. So some of you all could be like in the arts and crafts. Some of you all could do things with your hands like a painter, a writer here. It's a hobby. It's starting off as a hobby. Why well, I feel like your hobby is what's going to bring you that stability. So really look into that. 
I feel like it's something that you love to do, but it just starts as a hobby. I'm also hearing photography as well, but it started as a hobby. But that's what's going to bring you the financial stability if you put your mind to it. Your hobby is going to turn into a business is what I'm hearing. Okay, give me two cards for my Pisces. Two cards for my Pisces. messages for my Pisces, please. Attachment. You're releasing. You're definitely releasing. And this person feeling you releasing yourself. Then I say, Alexa, play Brandy, broken hearted. This person feeling you energetically releasing yourself from them. It could have took you a while to release yourself from this person, but now they're feeling it. And now they're broken hearted behind it is what I'm getting. Hmm. Yeah, this person is heartbroken, but at the same time you were too. I feel like you were left alone to mend your heart on your own. So it's like that that only made you stronger with that strength card because you had to heal this on your own. It's like you had to sit there and stitch your wounds yourself. So you felt the needles going through. You felt the pain when you were stitching yourself back together. But this person feels that you have detached from them completely. But they're still attached to you energetically. That's why I was saying on that uh, last reading I did, that energy, you may feel like periods of sadness or doubt or some some of you may even feel like you're going through a depression i don't feel like that's your energy i feel like that's your person's energy because they're still attached to you but you're detaching okay so your animal card you have is spider trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten some of you are authors poets songwriters singers is something i saw you some with your hand you love to do it but you haven't put it out there maybe you need to put that book of poetry out there that book you need to start writing it you know some of you all have good calligraphy skills you know what i'm saying take those skills and use it i'm also hearing tattoos does somebody got a spider tattoo or a heart tattoo is something about tattoos here. You know, we very creative. So we love to uh, display art as far as on our on our bodies. So some of you all could be a tattoo artist or thinking about drawing. It's something dealing with drawing as well. But you're very good at it. That's what's going to bring you that stability. Go for it, Pisces. That's what I got for you all. If this resonated, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. And I will talk to you guys later. You all be blessed. Bye.